Let's Talk LUTs. Basically, it's a filter with your style of coloring. Now they're all over social media and every creator that you know is probably selling their own version of their own look. So when do you use them? Why do you need them? And the main question as to why you've probably clicked this video, how do you even make your own LUT? We're gonna cover that in this short video. Now first things first, what are LUTs? LUTs are used to bring your image back to life. Now what I mean by that is when you shoot in any log format, let's say Sony's S-Log or Canon's C-Log, a desaturated color profile, you're telling your camera to lay off the colors. Now this will give you the most dynamic range, which means more info in your highlights and more info in your shadows. Now the next step in post-production, you're gonna wanna bring those flat images back to life. Now that's what we call Rec 709. It's a basic color space that livens up your image. Now there are companies out there like Buttery Lutz who have Rec 709 catalogs of all different kinds of cameras that you can literally input onto your image. So let's say you shoot on a Canon and you wanna have an Ari look. You can go ahead and drop a Rec 709 Ari look or you want a Blackmagic look, maybe even a Sony look. Once you've chosen the look that you want on your image, you can manipulate it to get your specific style. Now, aside from the basic Rec. 709 LUTs, this is where companies like Tropic Color, Gamut.io, and other influencers have their own style that you can get creative with. The look is completely subjective and the style can be manipulated in any way. So for the last and most important question, how do you even make LUTs? Well, it's super easy. We'll go ahead and jump into Premiere and I'll show you how you'll wanna jump into the Lumetri Color tab. Now, if that doesn't appear on your project layout, you'll go up to Window and select Lumetri Color. It should pop right up. I'll go ahead and put some log footage that I've shot on the timeline below, and we'll create a Rec. 709 look. Once you've made all your personalized adjustments, as you've seen I've done here, you'll go up to these three little tabs on the Lumetri Color panel. You'll click it and then go down to select Export.Cube. Now you'll save this to a LUT folder in your computer or external drive, and there you have it, your very own LUT. You can even do the same when making a creative LUT that will be input into a creative tab, and you can adjust its intensity once it's been exported as a .cube. Now this process is super simple. I literally just found out about it and it blew my mind how easy it was to create. I've made a few LUTs myself that are super clean. You can layer over any image for a clean Rec. 709 look and an additional creative LUT that makes it pop in vibrancy. You can see that in the description below as a download. Hope this one helped you creators out there using Premiere Pro and being able to understand LUTs, how to use them, and ultimately learning how to create them. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.